got to Salt Lake City last night. Really a cool town. But we're here to visit Browning and go to the Browning Museum this evening, which will be really kind of a neat deal. Check out a lot of the history. And then meeting all day with Browning tomorrow. It's gonna be a great couple of days. It was a cool experience to tour the Browning Museum and learn not just about the history of Browning, but also the impact that John M. Browning, Browning's founder, had on the entire firearm industry. The museum had everything from pistols, rifles, and shotguns, but also machine guns and other military applications. The museum portrayed John M. Browning as an innovator, but also a man of great character and integrity. These traits are still embedded in the Browning culture. Now, it's time for what I really came for, the headquarters of Browning. This is Mr. Joseph Russo. Nice meeting you. He's really Vice President you. of Research nice and Development. We'll mostly show you what we're doing, how we're doing it. We won't show you everything we're doing. Sure, that's true. I guess you understand. <laughs> of course I do. First, Joseph took me to see the Browning Gun Vault. I don't know if I've ever seen this large of a collection of firearms. After that, it was a quick whirlwind tour of some of the R&D areas. I also got to see some machining of Browning parts as well as their test firing lane. After the behind the scenes tour, it was time to unveil something special. So are you ever going to tell me what you flew me all the way out here and made me wear this shirt for? Well, it's kind of a secret. If I told you right here, I'd have to kill you. Well, let's go someplace else. Okay, let's go find it. All right. Welcome to the Browning shooting range. This is, uh, this is where a lot of things start. A lot, of, a lot goes on right here. Many, many rounds have been launched off this porch by me and others. But uh, this is kind of where we unveil things. So we have a little surprise for you. Let's, let's walk out here. I'll show you what it is. Follow you. Follow your lead. OK. As we all know, Chasing hogs in this country has become a big thing. You're about to go on your first hog hunt, right? First one ever. That's oh, right. man. You know what they say, timing is everything? Yeah. Well, I think the timing on this product's pretty good. Well, now you got me all excited. Well, let's take a look at it. We have a Browning BAR hog stalker. So tell me a little about it and what made you come up with a specific hog gun? Well, it's, uh, there's, you know, as we all know right now, there's a hog craze going on, okay? Right. And, uh, and, and we thought that in, in light of that, we would give those folks who love to do that sort of thing a, a really awesome tool to play with. Okay. So we took our BAR platform, time tested, you know, no other auto loader out there has the calibers that the old BAR has, mm -hmm. everything from 243 on up to the 338 and then everything in between. Added a couple of features as you can see, uh, the pistol grip, we have interchangeable combs okay. and recoil pads, okay, for length of pull and height of comb. You can mount anything you want on this rifle from a, a aim point type sight to a 50 millimeter objective lens scope, okay. whatever, and yet still have the right comb height for those systems. Gotcha. Okay, so that was important. We also have a dropout magazine. Okay. Okay. And uh, there are other magazine options available with this gun. All right. The, uh, the special rail feature here for mounting up the scope that comes with it. Shorter barrel, 20 inch heavy barrel. There's no vibrations to speak of there, so it shoots very, very well. Okay. We also offer a rail on the bottom of the forearm if people want to mount a light on it. And of course, the sling swivel studs are mounted into the rail and the butt stock here, and uh, it's ready to go. You get your scope and, and whatever rings you want, and you're ready to go chase hogs, baby. Well, if you got some ammo laying around here, which I'll bet you do, let's give it a whirl. I found some early. I knew you'd want to shoot it, so let's go get it and shoot it, should we? Perfect. Here's 
figured I'd go for the little one that time. Why don't you load this baby up once more, shoot it again. Okay. And then we'll do you the want to twist my arm a little bit? Yeah, yeah. That's a sweet shooting gun. I think that's a dead pig. Five times. <laughs> <laughs> Come check out and see how, uh, how accurate the gun is, or I am with the gun. I think that's a dead pig. And this was a totally clean target. They just had made it. That's a pretty good group. Well, that was a really cool experience and an honor to be the first one to actually shoot the uh, BAR hog stalker. Shooting it at a metal target's always cool, getting the sense for the gun, but nothing's gonna beat the real thing getting out there. So, first order of business is to plan the hog hunt. <laughs>